If you haven't been to Vienna, visit it. It's really good. I, what I first really loved about it when I moved there was the diversity there. Like it's just, I think like over 50% of Vienna is not Viennese. My first friends, like nationalities I made friends with were Afghans and Italians. And now Afghans, I say Afghans because you don't get to have one Afghan friend. <laughs> They're always in a group. So you either have Afghan friends or you don't have any. So that's, my friends found out the hard way. Like, what are you doing on Friday? My Afghan friend is coming over for dinner. He's like, so uh, how many people are you planning for? I just told you the one. He's like, no, dude, it's going to be a bus. <laughs> Go shopping. Go shopping right now. It's going gonna, it's gonna... to... They were great people. See, we always hung out in the afternoons because there was like eight guys who were renting a house out, like, almost outside of Vienna. They had a garden. We could grill. We could smoke weed. We could drink alcohol. It was, it was a lot of fun. But then one day they told me, hey, listen, uh, we can't meet in the afternoon anymore because uh, Ramadan is coming up and we want to celebrate it, so only evening. So, you know, that's cool, but a week later I disturbed them. Like, I called them in the middle of the day and I was like, hey, about tonight I, I bought beer, whiskey, and weed. If you guys need anything else, let me know. But uh, what time do you want me there? That's basically why I'm calling. 9, 9.30, 10. And he's like, uh, you bought the alcohol and the marijuana as well? I was like, yeah, just tell me when do you want me there. He's like, okay, uh, wait a second. And all I hear on the phone is like, tell me when you want me there. Tell me when you want me there. Tell me when you want me there. Tell me when you want you can come now. <laughs> you can come right now. I was like, right now? Like, no, dude, like, do your thing. I don't want to disturb. Just do your right now. Come and like, no, but today we have a break day. Today. <laughs> Today we have a pause, today we have a, like, yeah, like a break day, really, in Ramadan, like, okay, listen, that. like, this is the last argument I'm gonna make, but I've been to work today, and I have Muslim colleagues, I, they didn't tell me anything about a break day, and then, then he started getting pissed, like, are they from Afghanistan? It's like, no, they're from Turkey, in Afghanistan it's break day, now we can have so many <laughs> Fantastic people, I love it. And you wanna know the best part about that story? I didn't change anything. At all. I, that, that's how it happened. And I just get that. It, it's fantastic. I fucking love them. <laughs> and also the other group was like Italians. We have any Italians in the house now? No? Really? Okay, cool. <laughs> so for those of you who don't have Italian friends or don't know too many people who are Italians, uh, Italians are the only nationality on the planet where all the stereotypes you have ever heard anywhere are all true. <laughs> all of it. If you heard someone gossip in a radio show somewhere in the da, it's true. They're right. Whatever they said, they're correct. It's, it's fact. They're late, they're loud, they're funny when they're pissed off. Except when they're pissed off at you, that can get a little out of hand, but all that it's all like you can never meet I can never meet them on time. Once I even I I, I was meeting them for picnic. And I, call, I, 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 on purpose, arrived two and a half hours later. <laughs> no phone call, no message, nothing. Like, it just, so I arrive at the subway station closest to the park, and I call him, and he's like, so where are you? And his answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, but you came with the same thing I came with, so maybe if you can explain how you walked so I can find you. And he's like, I don't really know, but okay, listen. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, from the subway, you go out in the front or in the back if you came from the other direction. Then if you come out in the front, then you turn left or right if you came from the other direction. And then you cross the bridge, but only if you came from the other direction. You might not have to do that if you came from this direction, which we're just... A anyway, just go out in the front, in the back, whichever, left or right, cross the bridge, or don't, we'll find each other. Just run, run. <laughs> Now, I don't want to spoil anybody here, but we didn't find each other. <laughs> so now I call him and now I'm pissed, right? So I'm just going like, yo, dude, why the fuck are you telling me where to go if that's like... Nah? They're like, hey, why are you being pissed at me? I told you I have no idea where the fuck we are. It's your fault for listening to me. What the fuck? Like, Only an Italian can pull that off, right? Like, Let me tell you where to go. You're there? Well, I'm lucky. I, I was just guessing. I was like, sorry. I don't... By the way, this same guy I helped move from one apartment to another, which is when I witnessed the two most stereotypical Italian men assembling IKEA furniture. Beautiful. It was better than porn. That's how 
how good it was. It, it, it was 20 minutes of this shit. Dio cane, porco Dio, cazzo Dio, bestia, porca puta madonna, bella. And you know, at one point, one of them just goes like, hey, you want to help? And I'm like, nah, man, I just want to watch. <laughs> also, I was kind of expecting it to happen, so I gave them the wrong manual. <laughs> By the way, they never found out. Like, they were building a chair, they had the manual to a bed. They were discussing about it, I was like, I don't know where the mattress is gonna go! It was, it was incredible, I fucking loved it, it was so good. It was really, it was fantastic. But the one time I did manage to get him angry, I, I was going to Italy for two weeks, and before the trip, I got really drunk, and I called him in the middle of the night, and you know, like, drunk calls, I go like, ah, I'm going to Italy, we have to meet before we go to Italy. Ah. And he was just a little tooth call at the other end. And he was, he was just like on the phone, he was just going like, Tom, Tom, listen, 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 just uh, shut the fuck up and listen. Okay. First of all, it's three o'clock in the morning, okay? You have that? You have that? Great. Okay. Second thing, very important. I know you're going to Italy, we're going together, I invited you. <laughs> the third thing is, uh, and I really need you to concentrate on this one. I'm right across the fucking table, because you put the phone down. This is absolutely awesome. I don't know what you're doing. This is just dumb. I don't know. Italians are great. I fucking love them. And that, that, that's the beauty of it. You, you get to meet so many different cultures in Vienna that you don't get to meet in Budapest. In Budapest, if I tell them someone that I just met in a bar that I live in, Austria, all I get are the three same questions that I have like prepared answers for. They're like, so you live in Vienna? And I'm like, ah, I, the, the, let me break, cut you off right there. Like, yes, I live in Austria. Yes, I have Muslim friends. No, they haven't tried to blow me up yet. <laughs> and I need you to think about this for a second. Try to blow you up. Who tries? It's more like a do or don't, no? <laughs> Nobody really, that's a firm decision. Like, Im okay, imagine this scenario. On the weekend, when you're having some beers and shots with your Muslim extremist friends, <laughs> you look towards your bag, and all you can see is one of your Muslim friends approaching your bag with a smaller package and just going like, you got me. You got me. Ah, I tried to blow you up. I like, man, next weekend I get you, yeah? I like, man, yeah, you, you pay attention, but next weekend, uh, poo! <laughs> doesn't fucking happen.